you clicked on this video, it's because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. I'm proud of you, because if you clicked on this video, it's like, I don't actually know what the fuck I'm up to. I don't know. I understand. Here's what to do if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, dude! Damn! Boom! Boom! I'm in flow. The flow of life is flowing through me, and I'm the universe speaking to you for you. We have been programmed in a society where the second you are born, you must do something. You must be someone, you must run towards something, you must have a goal, you must have something. Whether it's like money or like, I don't, most of the times it's money. Most of the times it's like, I have to get more money, I have to buy more stuff, I have to be bigger, I have to be more valuable, I have to be, is that ringing any fucking bells for you? That's like chasing, I need to be worthy, but you already are. So we're playing a fucking game of tag and it never ends until now because you clicked on this video and boom bitch, I'm the universe speaking for you, here for you. So let me educate you on this, okay? I don't fucking know what I'm gonna say and I love it. I love it so damn much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to draw my planet. I'm gonna have to draw my planet. Give me an, an instant. So this is uh, our planet, the one you decided to reincarnate on right now. So if you think that nothing happens for a reason and you're just fucked and you're doomed and you're here just because or whatever, no, no, no. You decided to be here right now. So stop being a little bitch and just own up to the fact that you're here. Have a good time with it. So the earth right now is in a beautiful ascension. Ascension of humanity happening right now and when I say you have to stop being a bitch about it is because you have to own up that you're literally here your soul decided to be here to witness this beautiful transition where we return to inner peace and just love and flow and light because essentially you're made out of light I don't know if you knew that because this form that you took for this life being is just energy, so it's temporary. But you are infinite, good news. With this ascension being in motion right now, a lot of shit is happening. A lot of people are realizing that, you know, some stuff that used to work before doesn't work anymore. They do not resonate with it. Some people are having their emotional layers come up to the surface. I've talked to so many people who are like, yeah, people are just assholes these days, you know? I don't know if that's just humans. Like, why do you guys always separate? I say you guys like I'm not one of you because I don't feel like I'm one of you. I feel like I'm watching a fucking play. But it's very entertaining, so keep it going. It's about clearing out the emotional density that people have kept within themselves. But it feels icky and it feels heavy and it doesn't feel joyful. It doesn't feel like a flow. It doesn't feel like life is magical and it really is. So it's not supposed to feel fucking constipated. It's supposed to fucking flow. So during this time on the planet, a lot of stuff is gonna stop making sense. A lot of stuff is not gonna keep seeming right to do because it's not what you're supposed to do. Yo, I suck. Like, my light is totally fucking up my board. If it seems like right now nothing is working, everything is just fucking up. It's not, it's not working. Why is nothing working? You're tired of just like not feeling fulfilled, which is totally normal because essentially the human experience is supposed to be so fulfilling that it hurts. Because you, 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 just like me, we are creative as fuck. We're creators. You can literally create whatever the fuck you want. You're magic. I need you to understand how powerful and beautiful you are. And I used to reject this concept because, well, I'm just, I'm just a person. If you did not mean anything, you would not be here. There is a purpose for your existence. And the biggest fucking lie we're told is that by you just being, you are not fulfilling it. Do you know that there is such a powerful source that is keeping you alive right now? Oh no, I'm just, I'm just alive and I'm not having a good time and I wish it would kind of like, you know, fuck, like take me out, bro. I just wanna... Dude, that's the first step of being an ungrateful bitch. Obviously, if you are ungrateful, you cannot see how beautiful life is, but there is a reason for your existence because the second you're not supposed to be here anymore, you will fucking die, plain and simple. Don't even have to worry about it. You don't even have to worry about it. It's already decided. So just fucking, fucking get over it. Damn, 
So before I got carried away with people not being grateful for their existence and thinking that they don't have a purpose and they need to find a purpose and that just existing isn't already good enough, it's just so beautiful to see how stupid people can be by discontinuing their force and their power. I'm just someone who works at a gas station. Like, I don't mean shit. I'm just a piece of shit. No. No, no, no. If you're here during this time on earth, it is because you want to be part of the ascension where humans fucking remember how beautiful and how they all contribute to one single cell that is the universe. So this is the universe. I'm sorry about the light. You can totally not see my drawings right now. This is the universe. It's actually much bigger than that. I don't want you to think that these are the real measurements because it's totally not. It's not. So this is the fucking universe. And then, oh my God, I decided to fucking pop up here because I wanted to experience a singular, a unique experience of being a woman that's name is Laura who does videos and talks too loud and is comfortable in front of a camera, oddly enough. So I just decided to pop down here and fucking do my thing. Whoops! There you are. Now, I do not know who you are, but we're gonna roll with something here. You decided to come down here on this planet, this planet that has so many contrasts and diversities and stuff to play with. You're just here to play. You're just playing with fucking Play-Doh down here. Like, this is all it is. I do not know why that shit is for kids. We should all be molding, because you are. But you're molding financial instability. You're molding painful relationships. You're molding a bunch of shit because you don't know that you're the one molding. You never stopped molding. I don't know if you've ever played with Play-Doh. It's that stuff that smells so bad but kind of good and you play with it and there's so many colors and you can do, you can do everything that you want with Play-Doh. You can do everything that you want and Play-Doh is literally life. Oh my god, what are you doing not playing with life? Just go play with the experience. Just go see what this life has to offer because you are an extension of an infinite source of light and love that was just like, bro, I wanna go see what that's about. So, now that I've said that, what to do when you don't know what the fuck you're doing? Start molding. Well, Laura, I don't know what I want. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know, I don't, I just don't know. I want you to say out loud, don't know what I'm doing and I love that because you see if you greet the I don't know what I'm doing with more confusion more terror more guilt more panic you're going in a fucking circle dude I hate to admit it to you but you're just fucking spinning and like you're never gonna get out of it because you're literally not introducing a new energetic frequency to bring in all of the beautiful shit that you want to mold so just love that you're fucking lost first step I am gonna be your best friend right now and I'm gonna tell you that you do not need to know what your next step is. You do not need to have it all figured out because that's not, that's not even what life is. Here's my favorite phrase that I have heard lately. There is an energy that creates worlds. First of all, that is flowing through you at every moment. This energy that creates worlds literally wants everything that you want. It wants you to be happy. It doesn't want you to be so miserable. But the thing is, you're so stuck on this level of unhappiness and you're so used to being unhappy. This is unhappiness and you're like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm unhappy, shit. So then you go around everywhere. The pen is still in my shirt. You're walking around and unhappiness is always with you at all times because you're just so used to being unhappy. How the f are you supposed to switch it up, right? You go to the grocery store, the cashier, ah, fuck, it's raining. I can hate when it rains. Like, why can't it just be sunny? Like, oh, then you get to your car and then fuck, someone bumped you. If you are vibrating on that level of unhappiness, negativity, shit, shit, shit on top of shit, like, you can't, <laughs> you can't. These are all unconscious behaviors. That's the thing. Most people don't know that they're doing this. So it's a really tricky thing, but I promise when you understand it, you're like, oh shit, bro. That makes so much fucking sense, dude. You're the one that creates everything with your thoughts. Just become fucking aware of what you're thinking. So if you don't know what you're doing, calm down. Because right now you're just being, you're doing it. You're doing it, you, you're being. Your whole point is to just be. So start by fucking breathing. Take a breather, dude, and just be. I'm just gonna be right now. I don't know how long I'm just gonna be, but I'm gonna be.
If you think that always need to be doing something to be valuable, well, I don't resonate with that. I really don't. I don't want to always be fucking cutting my arms off to do a bunch of shit to try to get somewhere else. Why are we trying to get somewhere else? Why isn't here good enough? What's wrong with here? Why can't you be here? Why are you running that way? You're supposed to be able to be here and going over there is supposed to just be a fucking ride of life. Personally, when I heard that I didn't have to do shit to be shit, Oh Lord, I love that. I love that because I'm just like, wow, I can just be. The magic of actually fulfilling your existence though is listening to your heart. What is it that you wanna do? I don't know what I wanna do, Laura. I don't know. Is that okay? Is that okay? Because maybe you're not supposed to know right this second. Maybe there's an experience you're supposed to live and then boom, you'll be like, shit, that's what I need to do. And you know what? The universe is like this beautiful game of Hansel and Gretel and it's just fucking laying those breadcrumbs for you and you're like, ooh, shit, what is this? Your job is just to follow the breadcrumbs because it's totally guiding you where you need to be. What would you need for your needs to be met? Seriously, what would you need more? Okay, well, I would like a brand new car because honestly, my car is ass and I can't drive it and it's breaking down. So are you gonna keep entertaining the thought that you have a shitty ass in car and it's about to break down and every time you're gonna get in it, you're gonna be so nervous and anxious that something happens. Holy f you're literally cooking a pot of anxiety and that will just be manifested. It'll just be like, well bitch, she's been focusing about it for like 30 minutes. I'm not gonna give her the fucking sky. I'm gonna give her the pot of shit she's been stirring. What is it that you really want? You just told me, maybe it's not what you want, but you gotta play along. It's like a fucking thing here. We're interacting. I'm trying to make this interactive. So you gotta, you gotta just accept what I'm, you know. I want a brand new car. All right. How does it fucking feel to drive that car? How does it feel to get in and sit? Actually sit. Oh shit, I can press on the gas and there's no weird noise. How does that feel? How does that feel that it's so fucking hot on a summer day and you just press the button and the AC just blasts? It feels so good on my skin, it feels so cold and it's so refreshing and it's so nice to feel my skin. I'm in my body, I love feeling my skin. I love feeling my body. I love the steering wheel. I love how I feel when I'm turning it. I love how I feel so safe driving this vehicle that takes me to all these places that are allowing me to expand myself and just play with life. I love it. Pot of shit, anxiety, bullshit shit. A lot of curses, I'm sorry, but it makes it way more powerful and you know it. Or excitement and you wanna feel this way, so why aren't you focusing on feeling this way? I am saying a lot of stuff in this video here today, but I just want you to understand that it's okay to not know what you're doing. It's okay to not have every little step figured out. If you don't know what the fuck you're doing, Focus on how the fuck you wanna be feeling. You wanna be feeling good and light. What is something you can think about right now that will bring that? For me, it is the sun. Ah, I like the sun. It feels so hot on my skin and it makes me feel so good and it makes me feel alive. It's literally fueling energy through my body and I love the feeling of being in my body and I love the feeling of feeling my body and I love the feeling of this body that I've chosen and I love the feeling of my heart. I love the feeling of my hands. I love that I have hands. I have hands. Thank you so much for my hands. Keep it fucking rolling. Keep it fucking rolling. You are playing with Play-Doh. Start fucking molding. There are so many colors. You don't need to know exactly what you want. You just need to know the feeling you want to feel. Focus on the feeling and eventually you'll be like, you know what? Mm, I kind of want to play with that. I kind of, mm. I feel really good when I think about that. Maybe that's something I want. What is that shining bright light over there? That's the universe being like, bitch! Bread crumbs, pick it up. So I'm gonna leave this video by telling you, just know how you wanna feel. I wanna feel good. All right, what feels good? If you don't know what you want and it's hard to focus on things you want and you're trying to figure it out and then you get stuck in your head again, it does not have to be complicated. Just choose something simple that feels good. I want you to keep it rolling on how it feels good, how it feels good to be in your body and experiment that, how your senses like experimenting that thing. Focus on things that feel good if you don't know what you want. There's probably one thing that you do want that you do know and you are not giving yourself the opportunity to feel it fully because you're like, well, I want a million dollars. How the fuck am I gonna get that? How the fuck? Well, how the fuck does it feel to be a millionaire, huh? Like, how does it feel? Well, I don't, I don't really know. I love the feeling of knowing that I have so many funds available to me in every moment. I love the feeling of having an expansive bank account. I love the feeling of financial freedom, baby. 
use your imagination just like you would if you had Plato in front of you. Because all this is is just playing with a planet and an experience because maybe on another planet the experience is different. So maybe in another lifetime you're gonna go play on that planet. Remove all the tension and the darkness out of it. Just be willing, just open your fucking arms to this experience that you've chosen. Don't figure it all out because that's gonna suck. The magic of life is watching it unfold. What is this deliciousness that it's prepared for me? When you're always thinking about the things you want and how good they make you feel and how expansive and aligned they feel with your being, with your soul, with your heart. Become aware of your feelings and choose things that feel good. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. You can subscribe and like and do all the stuff that people always say you should do, but I already know you liked this video so you don't have to like it, but I know you will. Thanks for watching. I fucking love you. Please remember how fucking cool you are. You're a creator. So start creating and love creating because you're creating right now. Um.